The spring is already here. I'm going to show you how to paint this garden with watercolor. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold hair. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. Let's first do a little sketching. The little small garden house. So I'm going to put it right over there. Very simple, like right over here. The glass house on this side, keep it over there. Something like that. Really roughly, that's good enough. And then the trees, that will be on the side over here. Have some tree over here. Have the clothesline over here. So I'm gonna have the clothesline start over here. Here you go. Have some, I'm gonna add something to it, like a little bit smaller and then a couple smaller and make it a little bit longer, like that. That will be the flowers at the front in here. And I'm gonna paint the flower with masking fluid. For the purple flower, I also have a purple color, especially for this. First, I'm gonna prepare my calligraphy brush. Just let the soap get into inside the brush hairs. Okay, this is good. I'm going to use this masking for it. I'm going to pull enough, should be good enough. Now I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to start painting the shapes of the flowers. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to start over here. This is a big uh, shape. Just going to paint it just the way you would paint with watercolor painting. Okay. You can take some creative license by uh, add some shape or remove some shape. Okay, now I'm also going to add a little shape for the yellow flower. I'm going to put a little, a few smaller shape right here. Okay, on this side, some small yellow flower. Now I'm also going to mask the fabric, the clothes over here. I'm going to put one over here. Those shape over here. Leave a little bit gap. Like that. And another piece over here. I'm going to start with this one inch fry brush. I'm going to set a little color to the sky. I'm going to just take the Windsor Blue green shape. I think there's too much color in the brush. And then look at that, it's probably have a little bit more red color to it. A little bit. Okay. Just put a little color over here. Let's take a look. I'm gonna mix a little green color. Take the yellow color. And think about 
Green color has many, 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 many green colors. I'm going to take the blue color next in the, into this. This is the yellow green color, very bright. So I'm going to also think about how dark is the color supposed to be. I'm going to take a little red color, make it a little bit less bright, a little bit more neutral. I'm going to take a look. Just put a little color over here. Okay. And have a little bit more yellow. A little bit more red. Okay, like that. Just use the side of this brush. There you go. A little bit yellow, a little bit more, a little bit red. Okay. It's okay. Keep a little gap. Like that. All right, I'm going to come in down over here. I have some color on the side over here and the actually in this is the background. And you see a little bit tree in the background like that. Now coming a little bit closer. Now look, think before you start, continue. Okay, now take a look at, and I'm going to have a little bit color over here like that. Just use the side of the brush and make it look like this is the grass coming up like this. Okay, that's good. That's all right, that's good. Have a little bit more yellow and red color. And this is a little bit darker, so that's good. Okay, and then that's color change to um, a little bit more green. Over here, I have a little bit more red. Just think about what color is that and where's this, how to mix that color. There's a little bit more warmer color like that. That's good. Now I have this color, also a little color in the middle over here. Okay. Now I'm going to quickly get the yellow green color coming on this side you go a little bit more a little bit blue it's okay to have some gap and you're gonna fill in the color a little bit later okay a little bit green color at the bottom over here like that that's good keep thinking about what is the final result that you are looking for okay i'm gonna Keep a little gap over here, a little bit more yellow, like that. Just think about the value of the color, it's very important. Okay, there's some lighter yellow color, like that. Now I'm gonna come back to the back over there, and I'm gonna put a little bit darker. Just take the blue color and the red color together, and a little bit more red. I'm going to put the color behind the little house and take a look right here. That's good. That color can come in over here too. Okay, a little gap in the middle over here. Okay, that. And here you go. Now to the, the top of the house. That's good. Now getting a little bit deeper color. Now I'm gonna quickly change it to a little bit, just a little bit lighter than that color. Now I'm gonna just use, here you go. Just use the corner, just the side, tap on it. There you go. Okay, that's good. On this side, I'm going to have a little bit of this color too. Okay, maybe change the form a little bit. Like that. Okay, that's good. Coming down over here, have a little brighter color. Take a little yellow color. Let's get a little bit closer. Like that. Okay, that's good. 
Uh, now I'm going to add some yellow color over here and add some middle tone. Okay, that's good. And here I also have some little bit darker color. Put that little darker color over here. Looks like that is some darker uh, grass like that. That's good. A little bit over here too. Just think about the rhythm. Think about how the color has it connected. Has some darker, lighter, create a balance. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color in over here too. Screen your eyes so you can see uh, the rhythm, how things going and between heavier color, lighter color and okay, come that over here too. That's good. And keep it. So this large brush, you can use it for uh, almost at least half of the painting uh, time. Okay, take that. The house, I'm gonna mix a little brown color. Take the, this is very close to, that maybe it had a little blue color. So take a little blue color. That's good. Now I'm gonna take a look over here, color put in, into here, here you go. That's come out a little bit. Take a look at the angle, that's good. Okay. Okay, so that color, set it over there. I'm gonna continue at other color next to it. Like a little bit, the continue with all other colors. I'm gonna come back to make adjustment a little bit later. And there's a little bucket over there. It looks very interesting. I'm gonna leave that other bucket over there. Like this, that's good. And there's a window and that. The board over here and can draw a little bit lighter brown color like that and under here also have some darker color but over here at the same time have a little green color over here so you can see all those connections and don't overstep into other color too much you're going to leave the room uh, so that you can easier later to do the modifications Okay, now on the other side, I'm gonna have a little bit light blue color, blue gray color like that. That's good. See that there's the glass, glasses have some have a little bit more. I think glass are plastic. Okay, have a little bit over here and maybe some a little bit more and a little bit brighter, I'll take a little bit more blue color over here, make it a little brighter. And the top over here also see like that, that's fine. Okay, now have a little bit, now start adding a little uh, line for the uh, grass light yellow color. So by now, almost the whole painting already have some kind of colors. Now at this point in the window, we can take a look at, okay, some window color inside over here. Let's see, you go. I'm gonna put this color over there. That's the reflection of the tree. And I think that's a little bit too bright. I'm gonna come back like this. Here you go, take a look. Like that. There you go. A little yellow. Like 
Okay, I'm gonna set a little bit darker color after it drive. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little darker brown color. Just mix the. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna have this color over here and have a little color on the bucket. Underneath has a little darker brown color like that. Okay, a little bit of color over there. And also those can see uh, some of the, uh, the shape, right? We can draw the line a little bit later. That's pretty easy. I'm gonna take this color, a little bit more red. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. Now, under here on the wall, so I can set a little color, make this a little bit lighter, like that. Like this, good. Okay, now the door over there and the top a little bit darker. So I would like you to think about color, shape, color. So don't need to worry too much about, oh, I'm gonna paint the house. You're not painting the house. You are suggesting with the shape and colors for the house. So you're just looking for the color, looking for the value, for looking for the shape. I'm gonna take this color, make it a little bit darker. Like that, that is right underneath over here, that color. Okay, have a little bit. A little bit blue color in the top, put it like that, and the color get together and almost there. You just screen your eye, you can see the whole picture. Now, I'm gonna give a little texture over here, just open it up. Here you go, I'm gonna draw a few lines so you see the texture on the door, it's very easy. Okay. On top of the roof, I decided to make it a little bit brighter color. So I'm gonna have a little red like that. Got a little bit red. There you go. I'm gonna just first draw some line. And here you go, the perspective like that. Okay. Now we come back to do a more definition line a little bit later. Let's make it a little bit softer for now. That's good. I can let go of some color over here. I can make it feel like there is just the grass also come up over here. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna add the trees on this side, almost like it's just the gray color. So, here you go. And start over here, take a look. Uh, look at it coming down here. And use the side of the brush. Here you go. Okay, as you can draw some really small thin line. Like that, that's good. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna mix the new color. Take a look at what color. This should be the good color. Now I'm gonna use the side of the, the brush. Create some suggestions. You see the side brush uh, really help and give a little random. Okay, try not to think about that you have to control everything and let the thing do it for you. Okay. Okay, a little bit on this side too, like that. That's good. Yeah, just screen your eye to see how things work together for you. And I think I'm gonna have a little bit red color on this side and seeing a little bit. Okay. 
don't overdo it but that's that's good and that's some darker color over there and i'm also going to add some darker color a little bit clear a little bit darker color okay right there and here you go the top of the house give a little shape over here that's good now i'm gonna reorganize that because i changed the shape over here if i don't want it to look like this is totally um just dry okay We need to start sort through the relationship. I'm going to use this one inch flat brush. Now I come in over here. Let's take a look at over here. I'm going to create some detail, some line over here. Just use this, the corner of this. Have enough water so you can create some interesting uh, feeling of those small, skinny, tall, grasses that's good like that i'm gonna this is very useful brush like in my just like in my last video i talk about this whole set of brush is very economic but do everything that we need uh for any brushes that can create for you Okay, I'm going to take out a little color over here. Now coming to the front over here. Now I'm going to start having a little thin line. Just take a look here. A little thin line. Very easy to create those small shapes. That's good. That's good. Okay, getting some shapes up here too. That's good. Very easy. Okay, now I'm going to continue giving a little bit more. Leave a little bit more details. Like that. First, I'm going to leave one on top of this. Now you can see again and again how easy to create lighter shape. So watercolor is just not something that you need to be afraid of it. It's like, hey, after you put it down, you can't change it. No, this is not right. You can change it. You can have a lot of room for you to change. It's all in the mind. If you're using the, the same tools that I have, get these two brushes if you don't have it and start practicing. The second thing is the pins that I have. Look at the, into my a video descriptions you can find exactly the material that I have okay that's good I'm gonna let go a little bit color over here if you can remove a little bit more you can remove a little bit more you can remove smaller shape you can remove smaller shape I'm gonna have a little cut over here remove that a little bit so I can break the shape a little bit I'm gonna have a little yellow Green color, here you go. Come back over here, here you go. I'm gonna have that color make it. Here you go, like that. Now we're going to lift up all the masking fluid.
That's good. Of course, applying the purple color. And we'll just uh, take this purple color. Okay. Also going to add a little Windsor red color on the side over here. There you go. Now let's take a look. I'm going to put this color here. This is totally opposite from the green color. Let's get it. If you already master how to mix most of the color, almost every color with the three primary color, adding other colors and just going to give your painting more flexible more flexible, but you're better to master the principal process of the three primary colors. Okay. Okay, keep going. Like a painting like one flower at a time. Okay. Come together pretty nicely. some a little bit brighter darker first set the foundation color and we're going to come in to set some little bit some variety colors okay Some brow over here. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, there's a couple over here. Okay. That's good. This is out there. Let's make this one do that too. And this one. Okay. And some other uh, spaces we're going to leave it for the yellow color. And now the same time I come back over here to add a little bit, a little bit darker at the center of the flower. You can tap on it. You see that? Now you can see a very nice uh, some details. That's good, like that. This can be a little bit darker. I'm gonna have a little bit darker somewhere in the shadow. So that's a very nice composition with it. And I'm gonna add some yellow color. Now here you go, get a little yellow color. Coming over here, we have some yellow color here too. Okay, that's nice. Um, on this side, have some yellow color. And also somewhere else I have just the white color.
I'm gonna have a little bit like a orange yellow color. Now let's take a look at what other things. Oh, there's some uh, light blue color for the on the cloth line. Just a little light blue color. And here you go. On this side, I'm going to have it coming up so you can see a little bit shadow on this side coming a little bit lighter. Okay. Like that. That's good. And on here, I'm going to have a, a little bit detailed of the folding. Okay. 